Hi guys, this is Jo Beth. This is my week 43 post Rune Y update. Today is uh, May 3rd, 2017. Um, my weight this morning, I'm super excited, it was 179.4. Um, I'm not sure exactly what my weight was. It was 179 point something right before I had the injections. This might be my lowest weight. I'm not exactly sure, but it's low. It's low and I'm very excited. I think, what was I last week? Like 184, 185, something like that. Um, yeah, the keto was really working for me. And then I had my one day that I went and decided to eat healthy and stuff. And, like, I gained three pounds from one day of eating healthy, like my normal diet and lots of fruit. It was delicious and totally worth it. So then I got back on the keto, and that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, keto really works, but I don't really like it. Um, I had talked to my surgeon and my nutritionist the last time I went in about keto and asked them about it, and I was like, you know, this is the latest craze. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? My nutritionist was pretty much like, if you don't need it, don't do it. But if you get to a point that you're stalling, it's okay. Just be very careful, pretty much. Um, so, I was going to show you. I finally <laughs> ordered my calcium. Actually, I had like no money. So I was like, honey... Can you please buy me my calcium? Because it's expensive. So I ordered off of the Bariatric Advantage website. And I'm really excited. I got a new flavor. I got the strawberry in 500 IUs. Um, yeah, the Chewy Bites. These are so good. I tried one so far today. Delicious. It's like Starburst. It's so good. And then I got my other, my favorite, the, the caramel ones. So, see these two bags? Not that enormous, you know. I'm supposed to take four of these a day. Four of them. It's not going to last that long. And guess how much I had to pay? With shipping and handling, that was $82.84. I'm so glad my honey is so sweet and will just buy them for me. Because that's a lot of money. All right. I totally had an NSV and I didn't even realize it. This has been going on for like, I don't know, a couple months or so. And I just realized it the other day. So we're in Menards all the time. All the time. Um, doing projects on our crappy old house and stuff like that. So usually when we walk into Menards, sorry, there's a lot of space up there above my head. Okay, usually when you walk into Menards, there's one of those like metal, I don't know what they're called. It's like a little turny thing that you walk through. That doesn't even make sense. You walk through it and then it kind of spins and the next person walks through it and it spins. And before I always had to like turn sideways to get my big butt through there. And like lately I feel like I want to go turn sideways but I, I was like no no my butt actually fits through there regular now which is so cool. And the other day I was like adjusting my Fitbit. I had to get a new um band for it and like I was adjusting it and I did something like this and I was like oh my gosh I can put my fingers all the way around my wrist below my wrist I was like I don't even think that's ever happened in my life I remember at my heaviest I could not fit my fingers like this one and this one around my wrist I could not touch them they were like I don't even know like that they wouldn't touch and now like it's just crazy crazy things that you just notice every once in a while um, I had something, oh, that I don't even want to say, but I do because it really, really was bothering me. So I forgot to tell you guys, sorry. Um, I have a really, really close friend and she is pretty much average weight. I don't think she's ever had a weight problem. Her husband is a big guy and she's been my very, very close friend through thick and thin and and while I was at my heaviest, and she never said anything derogatory, she loves her husband, even though he's a big guy. And it's just weird, like, on Easter, she had to show me this thing that she was just like, oh my gosh, you have to see this. And I was like, okay. She had taken a picture of someone at Walmart from behind because they had a big butt and were wearing 
they were cute leggings, but they were tight. And, like, she had taken the picture and sent it to, like, her mom and her sisters and whatever. And, like, was kind of making fun of the girl. And I felt so bad. I was like, I wonder if people did that to me. Ever took a picture of me from behind because I have a giant butt. And maybe I was wearing leggings or yoga pants. And they thought that I looked horrible from behind. Like, I don't understand it. She's such a nice person. And, like, she's always kind and considerate. And I'm like... Does everybody in the world just think that this is normal and fine to take pictures and shame people? And I don't want to make her feel bad like my friend, but I was like, that's so mean. I don't know, it made me feel bad. Like, even sweet, nice people that are kind to others do things like that. And it just uh, it makes me sad. Like, I don't want, I just hate it when people treat other people like that. Like, they're a spectacle. Like, you're so fat, I have to take a picture and show people and laugh about it. Like, that just makes me sad. Um, yes. So, what has been going on in my life? I'm still trying to get everything ready for the garage sale, which is this weekend, and I have not started pricing anything. Nothing is priced. Nothing. I still need to go through tons of stuff in the basement. Um... phone call. <laughs> Everybody wants to call me when I'm making a video. Um, yes. Work has been crazy as always. Um, otherwise I don't know that there's too much to report. I dyed my hair and my eyebrows and it stays nice and bright like this and dark for not very long. Week, two weeks. And then all of a sudden it fades. Somebody told me to put um, vinegar in your hair when you dye your hair red. Like soak it in vinegar once a week or something and it's supposed to keep the color. So I might try that. Ooh, that shampoo that I bought a while ago, it was, it looked really weird and I got it at Target and it has like, does it have molasses in it or something? And apple cider vinegar and a bunch of weird things it's supposed to like promote hair growth and be like really good it works amazing and you don't even use that much I was like I oh, don't pay ten dollars for a bottle of shampoo the bottle was like little and I thought I will go through this in like a week it has lasted me a long time it works amazingly well I really like it when I think of it I will put a picture in here of it so that you guys can see and I think next time I would actually buy the conditioner too because I want to try them out together. The only bad thing is like it will leave a gross film or residue in your bathtub. Like gross. It looks like, I don't know, brownish sludge <laughs> that you got to wipe out right away. Um, but beyond that, it's amazing. I love it. And I am growing new hair, but that's kind of at the stage that I was at. All my little baby hairs are coming in. Um, and... Not weight loss surgery related, but this week I totally bought some more wedding stuff. And I've been designing my invitations online on Vistaprint, and hopefully I can buy those soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, yes. Oh, I guess what else I had to do today? I took a pregnancy test today. Totally negative, but I was worried for a minute. Worried. I should have had mine yesterday, my period and it didn't show up and since surgery my period's been showing up like two three days early so I was like hmm that's weird that it's not here yet and like last week I was like I am craving real bacon and I don't eat real bacon I eat turkey bacon like my whole life I've eaten turkey bacon and I was like it just smells delicious this week and I want to eat it and then, like, I had another weird thing. Oh, I got, like, eczema on the inside of my arm. The only other time that that's happened was when I was pregnant. And I was like, oh, uh, I better not be pregnant now. Or I would be, like, six months pregnant at my wedding. And that would be bad. So, I texted my bestie and she came over with a pregnancy test. And we took it. And I was like, whew, not pregnant. And yes, I am using protection. But that's not always 100% effective. So, anyway... Yeah, that was a little scary, but I hope you guys are all having a good week. Uh, so far, this week's going pretty good. 
I don't know. I might stick to keto a little bit longer. I might not. I'm not sure. But it seems like as soon as I go off, I gain like two or three pounds. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, okay. I got to go pick up my little munchkin from daycare. I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.